Hey guys, so for today's video, we're going to go ahead and revive one of my favorite lace front wigs from RPG Show, which is the J001 Blonde Ombre. As you guys can tell, I wear this unit a lot and it does have a lot of product buildup in it and it also seems to tangle just a little bit and may look a little frazzled and dry. I'm going to be using the Absorber Thermal Kit. This does come with a shampoo and a deep conditioner. This is the thermal pouch, which will be used to care for wigs, extensions, and hair pieces, and it does zipper easily. It also comes with a temper control gauge, which is attached to it. You can control the temperature along with the timing amount. Let's go ahead and wash the unit. I'm just going to be filling up this basin with warm water. The first thing that I want to do is go ahead and allow the unit or the front of the lace to soak for about two to three minutes. That way it can lift any type of hair product that I have placed onto the unit, such as gel, glue, or hairspray. This is really important just to allow that to sit for about two to three minutes. You can then go ahead and take your Observer shampoo and just place a little bit on to that area where you need the most cleansing. And I'm going to do that onto the lace first and just rub that in with my fingers. Make sure to be very gentle with the lace as it is fragile. I prefer to use a very soft bristle brush when removing any type of hair products from my unit. So I will be using this soft bristle brush just to brush gently against the unit. And this is going to be performed on the inner side of your cap. Try not to be so abrasive to the lace as it is very fragile. Once you've cleaned the inside of the lace, you can then turn it over and clean the outer portion. I do prefer to brush my hairs towards the back, that way I don't disturb or remove any of the hairs in the front of the hairline and make sure to be extra careful with this portion. Now we're going to go ahead and saturate the unit with some water and then apply some of the shampoo onto the unit. Make sure to be gentle when washing the unit and place your hand inside of the cap. That way you don't tangle or rip the lace. And once we are done with the shampoo, it is now time to rinse. I do prefer to rinse in cool water. That way it does remove any of the shampoo. I prefer to squeeze dry my units prior to conditioner. You don't want to allow the wig to go into the thermal pouch, soaking or dripping wet. So make sure to squeeze out any excess water and then you can go ahead and use the conditioner. This conditioner is great and you'll see the difference in any unit that you place in the thermal pouch. I'm going to take a nice dollop size amount and place that onto the unit. I would highly suggest placing your hand inside the cap so that way you don't rip the lace. Really saturate the unit or your hair extension piece with the conditioner, starting to brush from the bottom and working your way up. As you can tell, just alone with the conditioner in the hair, the wig is becoming really easy to maintain and a lot smoother. Now that I've made sure that there's no excess water, I'm going to go ahead and place it into the thermal pouch. This does come with a standard plug. And as I stated, it does come with temperature control. It is advised to use this at a 122 degree temperature, along with 30 minutes. Make sure you allow it to heat up for at least 10. I'm gonna be setting my temperature to 122, along with my timer for 40 minutes, allowing 10 of those minutes reheat. It does not take long to heat up. As you guys can tell, it's ready to go. And you just want to go ahead and place your unit or hair extensions or any hair piece into the pouch.
make sure you zipper it closed so that it retains all of the heat. Once the timer is done, it will automatically shut off. It's now time to rinse the conditioner out. I'm also making sure to place my hand inside of the cap, brushing the hair downwards, just to show you guys how smooth and neat and sleek the hair is now. And as you can see, the lace is nice and clean and this unit is ready to air dry overnight and then ready to install. Okay guys, so this is the look of my favorite unit from RPG Show. And as you can tell, it's super clean and ready to be installed. If you're interested in this unit, I'll place the link down below as this one is one of my favorite. Prior to installing your unit, you make sure to clean your hairline from any oils, makeup, or debris. And I've went ahead and placed this on. I'm going to brush the hairs towards the back and use my hair tools to style and hold my hair in place. I'm also going to be using my hairspray to adhere the lace wig. This one is the bed head, but you can use anything of your choice. And to dry the hairspray, I'm going to be placing my hair dryer on a cool to medium temperature and using my rat tail comb to press into the lace. I will be repeating the steps throughout the entire application process. Once my product is dry, I'm going to go ahead and brush the hairs towards the back and I'm going to use my hairspray along with my toothbrush just to create some wispy hairs and also some sideburn hairs. Using the wig tamer or the hair tamer by RPG Show is really beneficial as this will allow all of the hairs to lay flat any type of flyaways and it's also great for styling and hot comb pressing. I do like to use the hot comb to press my hair. This will allow the hair to lay flat and more flush to your hairline, allowing it to look a lot more natural. Now it's time to style this unit. As you guys can tell, she came out gorgeous. I'll make sure to link all of the information down below for the Observer Thermal Kit, as this will definitely make all of your wigs revivable and wearable. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon.